Now we have to understand the mechanism of the lightning strokes. So just consider that uh, there is some a cloud. Okay, this is the cloud. Okay, and the ground. And uh, moreover, the cloud which is consisting of the both positive and the negative polarity. And this is the ground. Okay, ground. Uh, just we are considering it maybe of the tree or some tall towers like structures. So moreover here we are considering that a cloud which is the region of the negative polarity and uh, this ground which is having the positive polarity. This is for our convenience which we are considering to understand this phenomenon. Okay. So when the electric field intensity at a some point in the charge concentration which is uh, exceeds uh, the breakdown value, let's say of 10 kV per centimeter. So there is an initiation of uh, this uh, streamers. So this is nothing but the canal formation. Uh, there's nothing but the streamers or uh, there is a sum with a, a plasma which is start towards the ground. Uh, it having the velocity of uh, about uh, 1 by 10th the time of that the light. And uh, but maybe progress only of the 50 millisecond. So what do you mean by this? It is having uh, some uh, too many number of the followers. Okay, this is like a followers. Okay, so so it had the too many number of the branches. Okay, so which one could be capable to make the contact between the a cloud and the ground? We will consider it is a cloud, which is consider it is a leader. Okay, so where you can see too many number of the branches with the help of this. The figure so this will come and halt at this point okay after the short interval of the time let's see of uh, 100 microsecond this streamers again will start repeating its performance so because it is gaining the potential again and it is start jumping means it is uh, raising their potential uh, because whatever the field intensity which is what it is insufficient to build uh, the electric charge of its head and it's not sufficient to maintain a field gradient between uh, between the leader and the ground uh, so again it is uh, increasing the potential after the short interval time of around uh, 100 microsecond and it, the performance is increasing means it is uh, increasing their potential so this is the total time required okay step leader to reach the ground which is around 20 millisecond so this path might be of the quite uh, lustrous which is depending upon the local condition in the air as well as the electric field gradients it have so from this branches insulator may also be formed since uh, this the progress of this leader uh, it may be happening by of the series of the jumps and it is uh, considered as a step the leader which is explained uh, which is shown in the voice camera so what does this uh, leader will do this leader will okay this is consider what i am considering it is a leader will come and halt halt itself and it will raise the potential okay and it start jumping and raise the potential and it start jumping and this will make the contact between uh, this uh, cloud and the ground then it will call it uh, consider it is a uh, it is considered as a step leader and it is also mainly depending upon the lot of the parameters of the potential gradient and the air density all those things so hence uh, that lighting consisting of a few uh, subradial discharges uh, which are starting from a leaders and culminates and uh, culminates in return strokes of the main descent this is nothing but what we understand here it is uh, okay what we understand this concept is so whenever this is making the point of the contact uh, this is step leader 
so there is an again uh, some return path okay at this point this is nothing but which is moving from a ground to the cloud okay ground to the cloud then we can call it as it is a return path so the velocity of this uh, leader strokes of the first discharges is around uh, 1.5 and the power of uh, 7 centimeters per second and this succeeding leaders having the strokes uh, of the velocity of around 10 to the power of 8 centimeters per second so this is nothing but the step later what we are talking and there is a return stroke having a velocity of 1 to the point 1, 1 1.5 10 to the power of 9 to 1.5 10 to the power of 10 centimeters per second just to imagine that what is the time taken to uh, return this phenomenon okay so there is a leader which is touching and there is a return path okay this is a return path and this is the leader okay so whenever this uh, leader okay this is the leader which is touches the ground there is a return stroke which is this is a return stroke okay blue color what i'm reading here follows as the leader which is moves towards the ground and which is carrying the polarity of uh, that's what we're talking it is uh, polarity of uh, a positive okay directly which is going to accumulated under the head of the strokes so at this time uh, this is the stroke which is reaching to the ground or this is uh, makes sufficient to uh, sufficient to make the point of the contact so resulting in which is sufficient to a uh, build uh, a large path between the cloud and the ground so hence what will happens a positive charges which is going to return to the cloud okay this means that so what we understood this is a negative polarity of uh, which is building resulting in building and it will contact between the ground and this is carrying later which is carrying the negative polarity and make the contact between the ground and uh, there is a return stroke which is moving from ground to the cloud it having the power polarity of the positive so hence what will happens there is a uh, resulting in a neutralization of the cloud which is going to takes places so hence what will happens there is a heavy current which is uh, flows through the path between the leader and the return so what is the velocity which you are going to consider this the point okay this is the point so this uh, return of the velocity will be range around 0.05 to 0.5 times of the velocity of the light and what is the charge of the current which is considering it is of 1000 amperes to 2 lakhs 50000 amperes of the current so just to imagine that so this is the point what we consider okay cloud and the ground this is the okay this is the point where we consider so this is the step leader and there is a return stroke okay there is a return path this is the return path okay this is the return so what is the current which is of around uh, 1000 to 250000 amperes of the current with a velocity of around a uh, 100 to 1000 mega volt so if you combine with that to, to, what just imagine that what is the total amount of the current which is going to be carried by each light just remember that the leader is not responsible for the phenomenon of this the lightning the return stroke which is going to cause the more effective than the step leader that's what we should understand okay so this duration or the main return stroke which will be around which is going to take places within 100 microsecond or sometimes it is might be grow might be greater than that then what is the total diameter of this uh, return stroke which you are considering okay uh, it will be around one one to two centimeters okay what is if you consider this is the total uh, uh, the radius total area of the cloud which is around uh, varies from 200 meter to around uh, 10 kilometers okay let's see it is uh, varies from 200 to okay 200 to 10 a kilometer of the 
radius of the cloud okay so what is the responsible for making this of the corona envelope which will be estimated around 1.1 to 2 cm means very small amount of the contact which will lead to that the point of the discharge between uh, the cloud and the ground and sometimes this corona envelope may be approximately varies around 50 uh, centimeters so after this uh, completion of the return stroke okay there is a much a smaller current let's consider that, that uh, 100 to 1000 amperes of the current which is going to continuously flows and which is going to persist approximately for the 20 millisecond means whenever there is a stroke which is takes place is that there is again the current a small amount of the current which is going to take place between these two cloud and the ground and uh, so due to this the current so there is an initial breakdown points in the cloud are considerably reduced and uh, the discharge concentration towards this point so therefore there is an additional reservoir of the charges uh, which is going to become available due to this penetration of the clouds are known as uh, generally will consider it as path and this will lead to that there is a formation of the repeated stroke between these two so the leader of the strokes leader strokes of the repeated strokes which is going to progress with a much uh, less velocity that's nothing one percentage of that light and it, it, it do not having any some sort of the branches and uh, this is nothing but we can call it as uh, continuous leader and there is a return stroke uh, for this leader which is followed with uh, a much less amount of the current so the total the interval between the repeated strokes may be varies from 0.6 millisecond to 500 millisecond with an average of around 30 millisecond and uh, the multiple uh, strokes which may be take spaces uh, it means it may be present for uh, one second as well so by this what we can understand is uh, the total duration of the lightning may be uh, extend up to one second from this the total the current from the ground and to the return it have some peak value of the current around 2 lakhs 50,000 amps of the current and the rate of the rise may be varies from 10 kilo amps per microsecond or 10 to the power of 11 amps per the second so the time interval between the successive strokes and the number of the strokes and the duration of the lightning uh, and duration of lightning discharges the discharge current and the rate of the rise of the current and the wave tail and the rise, uh, rise uh, wave tail and the probability of the distribution which is uh, shown by sorry which is shown by okay which is shown by um, these uh, waveforms okay from this we can see to that so this is the time of the interval between successive strokes that we can see to that uh, so initial there is a um, initial um, there is some frequency of the occurring is high then it is start decreasing okay means it may have some initial strokes it have it will have a two million number of strokes at the initial point so which uh, stroke which is made the contact that is going to consider as a, a step later okay then we have um, the number of the lightning discharges okay mm. so this is the frequency of the by er average curve and this is nothing but the cumulative distribution of the lightning stores uh, for the peak values according to the different uh, uh, theories that's not the different uh, standardization ai committee 950 okay anderson cgir then we have time of the p time to peak of the lightning strokes uh, by different uh, concept okay this is the probability of exceeding time to uh, peak. just to just to see to that whatever the things which are considering it is uh, in terms of the microsecond okay 
and these are the wavefront and the wave belt and for the strokes just uh, just to see to that uh, this is a uh, less than absence that is nothing but what is the energy which is associated during the return stroke is higher means the highest compared to that the making of the contact of first means the first leader and next one is the rate of the rise of the current like the stroke by different concepts okay that we have to understand so how actually there is a lightning phenomenon will make the contact between cloud and the ground and uh, i told that so 95 percent is of the lighting which is takes place between a cloud to the cloud and only of 5 to 10 percent is of the lighting which is going to take place between a cloud to the ground so this is how actually uh, responsible um, responsible for the formation of the lightning and which is the energy which is associated with that.